good afternoon, it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England. I'm here to uh, talk about my birthday collaboration that I've had with Cassandra. <coughs> As you'll probably know by now, we share a birthday and that's tomorrow, the 6th of December. Um, we decided to do this collaboration and the way we went with it was we would pick a pattern for each other or a suggestion of a pattern. Um, to do and send the yarn to do that. Um, so unfortunately the original package that Cassandra sent for me went on walkabout and had a bit of a world tour. It did eventually get to me um, but we decided that I would go ahead with the backup package and I'll do the the original one in January. Um, <clears throat> it's been really good Fun. I've, I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, the book that uh, she sent me was uh, All I Want for Christmas is Yarn. She said to me that she wanted me to do either the reindeer or the snowman, which uh, if I can get to them. The reindeer is that one and the snowman i've only got a little picture the snowman is oh let's have a look that one there so oh, if i could get it right that one there so um you know what will i i've ended up doing both <laughs> um the um first one i did was the reindeer now i would like your opinion on this one. I, you could do an alternative do, of doing a red nose rather than the brown nose that was on the pattern, um, which I went with so that it's Rudolph. But I think combined with the cheeks that is included in the pattern, I think it makes him look like a clown. <laughs> so I want to know what you think. So that is Rudolph, that one. I love the pattern. I loved it right up to the point of putting the cheeks on. So I I I am I think without the cheeks, I think he looks a lot better. So let me know what you think. So that's that one. I will tell you at this stage I did that one with a three millimeter hook. Um I'm gonna go on to the yarns later. Um, the next one I did was the snowman. Now, I love the snow. I think he, this one's great. And I left the cheeks off this one. Um, so that is the snowman. I reversed what they did on the picture, on the um, pattern. Because um, they did a white, um, uh, sorry, apologies, uh, a dark green and a minty colour on the hat and scarf on those. And I switched out the, well, I did the dark green and I, um, obviously I put the, the little Vs, the, um, I forget what they call them now. Is it special DC or something like that? It's the ones where you don't have the top bar on. So you just get a little V showing. Um, and then I reversed it for the hat. So I, I like, I, I like him. I think he's really lovely. Um, now, the yarn that she sent me, I'm going to show you at this stage. I've used it for all the projects I've done for this collaboration. Now, please forgive me. I've gone and I can't find where I put the little bits of scrap that I had to show you how much I had left of a couple of the colours. I don't know what I've done with them. I have got a little ball of white somewhere, but there's no point because it's only a tiny little ball of white. But the two balls of white, I've got a full ball left. So that is um, Obit Rainbow 86 in white, which is 02. And the other bit was just a tiny little ball of it that I had left. Uh, the next one I've got, which is, what am I calling this one? I, I can't find any proper colour names for them anywhere, but this one in the brown, this is an is this is an Obby Rainbow 86, Cotton 86. Um, and that is the colourway 07. So I've got a respectable amount left in that one. Now the red, I've slightly less left of that one, which is that one there. 
I'm so, I am just don't know where I've put them. I feel so cross with myself. Um, Obby Rainbow 86 Cotton, and that's the colour 58. So I've enough left of these two and the white to do another project if I want to, if I select carefully. I also add a caramel colour, which is obviously this colour on the reindeer, uh, caramel or fudge. Now that one is an Obby Friends 86 cotton in the colour 09. And um, what was the other one? Is that, is that it for the colours? No. Apologies, dark green. Uh, that was Obby Rainbow Cotton 86 in a dark green colour 100. Now, the caramel and the dark green, I literally had a couple of feet left, less than a yard of yarn left of each. Again, it's with the ball band somewhere. I'm going to show you just to show, but it was about that long. Maybe, maybe not even a couple of feet, but anyway, um, so I made good use of the yarn. So what I made good use of the yarn on, I went on to do other patterns. Now I was looking through this book, I could have done obviously some of the other characters in the same shape, but you know you fancy a change, don't you, when you've done a couple of them. So I saw this, which is the star for the top of the tree, and it's got loads and loads of bobble stitches on. Now, I was, it's no good for a tree for me because um, I haven't got a big enough tree to put one of those on. Plus, mine's a fibre optic, so you don't want to cover up the top anyway. Um, so I thought, this is one of them incidences where you have a good idea, but you can't execute it. So I thought, what a good idea it would be to make it into a pot holder. And... I was doing it all right. I mean, I did all the diamonds for one side of it because I was going to obviously just attach two sides together, make it double thickness for a top uh, for a pot holder like it is for the star. Um, and the diamonds came out really well. You could see that the, they all look perfect. The, my trouble I had was attaching them together. If it had been in the star in the one colour, you'd have never been able to see the joins. So I tried the um, whip stitch, the back stitch, slip stitch and crocheting, uh, you know, double crochet, uh, attaching them together with double crochet, which is a single crochet to, in US terms. Um, now, I went with the, I tried that one for the um, double crochets, um, but all of them you can see where I've joined it and it's just so scruffy looking. Uh, it won't go to waste though because I've decided because I've only got a small tree uh, it's got a small pot at the bottom I'm just going to pop that underneath it on to the little table that I keep it on uh, and the little points will stick out and I think that'll look okay. So it won't go to waste it's just like I say I couldn't find an effective way to it's because of when you, you're increasing and decreasing on the diamonds, they're too tight to get, uh, you know, like really close to the edge to, to make it as invisible as possible. Like I say, good idea, unable to carry it through. So that's that one. I used a 3.5 up to do that one. Um, right, on to the next one. So then I went on to doing a pattern that I've already done, which I did the... Um, little reindeer, uh, which is the uh, Lovecraft's paint box um, yarns uh, free pattern, and I'd already done this one in the Serda wool mix that I'd got. Um, so uh, I liked him, but I thought he was a bit squat, you know. Plus, as well, the braces at the back didn't fit right. So I thought, well, I'll have another go, but you'll see rainbow cotton. So I went for this guy. So it's using all the cottons that um, Cassandra sent me. Um, I This one, it fits perfectly at the back, the braces. I just reversed the colours that's on the front of this pattern here. So it's got a dark brown body with the um, green dungarees. I've made a couple of changes. I put an extra line in the body and an extra line in the shorts just to give his body a little bit more substance. I put uh, an extra couple of lines in the legs so that I could make them so they sit down like that. Um, but apart from that, 
very happy with this one. I, uh, you know, I, I, I loved the pattern and like I said, I just made those few changes to make it perfect for me. So I like that. I like the fact I've given him a cheeky smile. So yeah, I love that one. Um, I probably keep that one for myself, you know, to be fair. Um, I did that one in a 2.75 look. Then I went on to do, you remember the bear I got up um, the other day, I showed on my, my last video. Um, it was the Bear with Christmas Tree, which was from Julia Pyre from Kiev in Ukraine. Um, well, I obviously didn't have it because I've already explained I didn't have a lot of caramel and uh, dark green left. Um, so I thought, right, I'll, I'll give him a jumper. Um, the only thing being, uh, I didn't quite appreciate, I, had, I didn't have quite enough caramel left to do the head properly. So he's got a very, very short head. But I've done that with, with him. I've given him a jumper. I, uh, I, I used the extended double crochet to make a little pattern in the stripes. Obviously, I didn't have a lot of the dark green, so I couldn't do an awful lot with it. Plus, I wanted to save enough to do the hat. So, um, but I, I'm quite happy with him. I, I, it's not my favourite bear of all times, but uh, it, it's, it's not bad either. Um, I... What were I going to say about him? There was something else I was going to tell you. Oh, that's it. With with these tight weather like this weather, like flattish, I I always end up overstuffing because he should be a lot slimmer. Um, but I I end up putting a lot in, so it's just ended up you know like very very round. <laughs> But yeah, so what do you think to him? I've made a fancy collar, you know, with the uh, front, you know, um, front post, um, half double crochets. Um, I haven't given him a Christmas tree because I was thinking with this huge expanse of red here, and I thought it'd be nice to have an applique on here. Uh, plus, it was late when I finished it, so I, I wasn't in mood to carry on. Uh, or some ollie leaves or something as a plique on the front. That's that's what I'm thinking to maybe finish him off. But yeah, um, I'm I'm happy with the modifications I've made because um, it's you know it's good to play around with the patterns. So and I mean it made me use up my green and my caramel colours. I don't wish I'd, I'd, I'd have to misplace what I had left, but seriously, not much. Um, I really played a lot of yarn chicken. I might have had to do the trick of finishing the top of the head off in dark brown at, at one stage, but I, I did actually just, just about manage it. So, yeah, what do you think to him? So, so five items I've done. Oh, by the way, that were 2.75 millimetre up. The only difference with these colours, I've used all these colours except for where I need a black. I've used the dark happy cotton in um, licorice, which has only been a little bit. It's been for eyes or mouths or whatever. Um, and the other one was for the cheeks on the on the reindeer. So, um, which was in the dark. Uh, sorry. Starcraft Classic in Shell Pink. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it. I hope Cassandra's had as much fun as I have doing hers. Um, both our videos should go out uh, together on the 6th. Um, just doing it a little bit early in order to, so I can plan what time it goes out on, on my birthday, well, on our birthdays. Um, I hope you have a fantastic birthday, Cassandra. I hope everyone else enjoys watching what we've done. Um, it's like going to somebody's birthday party, isn't it? <laughs> so we've, we've, we've all had a jolly time, you know, showing 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 those objects off, which I think is great. I can't wait to see what Cassandra's done. I'm not worried if you didn't follow my patterns that, that I suggested. If you wanted to do her own thing, I'm perfectly happy. Um, so I'm just going to, sh oh, by the way, I did use the, the project bag that came with the hobby yarn. Uh, I think Cassandra will have ordered it for me, so it's part of the present. And I put on the llama that 
came through with the original package so i've used that to keep the projects in for this thing that's why i can't understand why those ball bags are in here we do I, I do this i put them to one side and that's it so there's no hope for me this is my last year of my 50s by the way next stop 60 next year so <laughs> i hope it, this isn't a, a sign of things to come but i do have one more thing to show you i um got an early christmas present for an uh, early birthday present from my husband nick um i had a few books on my wish list don't we always we always have books on our list um and he's got me one of them and he's given me it early so it's my pretty brown doll which is by a lady called yolanda jordan Yolanda Jordan and as far as I know if I can remember correctly you get a basic doll pattern a several hairstyles I should have had a good look at it before I came on there are various hairstyles to use and various outfits that will fit them all as far as I know if I remember as well when it was featured on someone else's channel I believe she wrote this book because she was disappointed that there was a lack of uh, patterns for women and girls of colour so she she did her own book and absolutely fab fab effort i mean from what i've seen of it so far I, i'm gonna love these patterns i mean there's so look at that french style girl with the uh, berry and what have you looks absolutely beautiful um yeah i need to have a proper look through it really but i think yeah it does look like there's basic patterns for the doll and then all these hairstyles and it looks like it's an air cap as well from what I can see here, which is my favourite type. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to getting involved with that one. But as with everything else, we've got lists a mile long, so um, it won't be just yet. Anyway, I think that's it from me now. I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm hoping I'm going to have a great birthday. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've got a day out. Um, I'm so excited. I'll do a bit of footage and I'll um, I'll be back hopefully uh, not too long after my birthday on Wednesday. Uh, it may not be that day but hopefully not too long after with the footage from what I take on the day. Um, anyway, take care of yourselves. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I think I've already said happy birthday Cassandra but it doesn't have to say it again. It's been great fun doing this with you and take care of everybody, take care of yourself and I'll see you later.